And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery as NASA embarks on the final mission to dock with Russia's space station Mir. Here's the Discovery roll program. Roger, roll Discovery. Houston, now control. Correct. Roll to a complete Discovery now in a heads down wings level position headed to a 213 nautical mile high orbit. Incline 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. Discovery's engine is now throttling down to 67% of rated thrust as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower part of the atmosphere. Is now throttling back up. Discovery, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. Discovery's three liquid fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Altitude now 12 and a half miles, downrange distance 8 miles. One minute 30 seconds into the flight. With more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant having already been used, Discovery now weighs half of what it did at liftoff. Standing by for the next major event, which will be the burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters a little more than two minutes into flight. Booster officer confirms good separation of the solid rocket boosters.